Hi, welcome to this Teachlet on Tone and Mood. The essential question, what is the difference between tone and mood? A lot of times as students we might get confused on tone and mood and we also use them interchangeably a whole lot of times. But the thing is, is they're two different things and they're relating to two different parts of a story and there's two different groups of people affected by the tone and the mood and it's important to know what the tone is versus what the mood of the story is. The tone is the author's attitude about their topic, characters, or audience. We see tone develop through the author's choice of words and we can also see it sometimes through the author's bias and opinion on the topic. If the author is writing a speech, we can get the author's tone based on what they feel about their topic, what it is they're describing, what it is they're presenting, what their speech is about. We can also see it through their choice of words. What kind of words are they choosing? Are they choosing words that have a positive feel to them? Do they have words that seem negative? What kind of punctuation marks are they using at the end? Are they using lots of exclamation points to get their point across? Also, authors can occasionally use all caps and to show extreme emotion. So, author's tone is the attitude the author has about their topic, characters, or audience. In a fictional piece, the author may show their tone through the author through the characters actions the things that they do the things the characters say how they develop the characters to get an idea of the author's attitude so tone focuses on the author's attitude it's kind of like when you're as you're young you may hear your parents say watch that tone of voice with me it means watch your attitude watch how you say the words you're saying to to your mom or to your dad some example words to describe tone amused, angry, cheerful, horror, clear, formal, gloomy, optimistic, witty, serious, playful, emotion words. What words describe attitudes? These are just a few words. There's lots more. If you Google tone words on the internet, there will be a whole slew of words that come up that help you describe tone. So tone are those adjective words. What words describe emotions and feelings? Let's look at an example of how we might see tone as a question. Let's read this short passage. A gift in his shoes. Donovan and Larry were early for baseball practice. They decided to run up and down the bleachers to exercise before the rest of the team arrived. Larry was first to the top. He whispered to Donovan, Look over there! He pointed to a man sleeping on the highest narrow bench of the bleachers. His pants and shirt were faded, worn, and too large for his thin frame. One big toe stuck out of the huge hole in his sock. His scraped-up shoes sat a few feet away. Donovan whispered, We should help him out. Let's hide something good in his shoes. Then when he wakes up, he will have a nice surprise. So be thinking, what is the author's tone? What is the author's attitude towards the man, towards the old man in the bleachers? So how would you describe the author's tone, the author's attitude? Would you describe his or her tone is angry, detached, and sympathetic. Did the author seem angry towards the old man or towards the two boys in this story? Did, did they describe anything as yelling or being unjust or unfair? Were they detached? Did they show no feelings or emotions at all? Did, did the author have the boys just ignore the old man and pay no attention to what he looked like or how what situation he might be in or were they sympathetic do they feel sorry for the man do they want to do what they could to help him and so the best answer would be sympathetic and your evidence would be the fact that they looked at the old man they saw what he looked like they saw his clothes were torn he was thin he was frail they also saw that an opportunity had arisen that they could put something in his shoes so when he woke up he would have a nice surprise. So that's the evidence to support that sympathetic would be the best tone for this author. Okay, tone focuses on the author while mood focuses on the reader. The mood is the feeling the reader gets from reading the text. You see mood develop through the setting and the atmosphere or the text of the story. So what's the setting? What's going on around around the story? What's what are the events happening? What's the effect of the events? So the mood 
affects the reader. Tone affects the author. It's the author's attitude. The reader's has the feelings and that's the mood. So the difference between tone and mood, tone is the author's attitude while mood is the reader's feelings. Some example words you might see to describe mood are very similar to the same words you would see to describe tone. Lonely, suspenseful, painful, peaceful, joyous, violent, gloomy. So think about when you watch movies. How do those movies make you feel? So mood is how you feel. I'm in a bad mood because your tone is so rude. So tone is the attitude while mood is the feeling. So let's look at that same story. I'll read it again. And now this time let's think what mood does this story put me in? How do I feel when I get done reading this story? Donovan and Larry were early for baseball practice. They decided to run up and down the bleachers to exercise before the rest of the team arrived. Larry was the first to the top. He whispered to Donovan, Look over there. He pointed to a man sleeping on the highest narrow bench of the bleachers. His pants and shirt were faded, worn, and too large for his thin frame. One big toe stuck out of his huge hole in his sock. He, his scraped up shoes sat a few feet away. Donovan whispered, We should help him out. Let's hide something good in his shoes. Then when he wakes up, he'll have a nice surprise. So how does this story make you feel? Does it make you feel angry? Does it make you feel detached? Or does it make you feel sympathetic? And what evidence do you have to support how you feel? In this case, it makes me feel the same way. I feel sympathetic. I feel sorry for the old man. I want to be able to help him. Why do I feel sympathetic? Because the mood helps me feel as though I want to help that old man. I want to help him out. I want to be able to do something too. And I also feel sympathetic because I see what the boys are doing to help the man. So again, to review, tone is the author's attitude. Mood is how the reader feels. Tone, think about how your parents might say, what's your tone of voice? What's your attitude? Versus what mood are you in? How are you feeling today? I'm in a great mood. I'm in a horrible mood. So tone is the author. Mood is the reader. Tone is attitude. Mood is feeling. Thank you so much for joining me for this teachlet today. Thank you.